Hello everybody and welcome to Froglane Studio's very first tutorial. This is on uh, Black Templar Primaris Space Marines and we're going to be looking at how to green stuff the new tabards. Obviously you're going to need a couple of things before we begin. Uh, your Space Marine, the green stuff to green stuff it with. Uh, I've included a couple of other things as well, a pair of tweezers, scalpel, the plastic bag and any sculpting tools you may have to hand. Now this is one of my completed ones here, you can see it comes from the, the chest piece down through the belt area and then drops down towards the legs. Now the first thing we're going to need to do obviously is to cut the green stuff out. You don't need too much with this sort of thing but enough to be working on a couple of marines at a time anymore and your green stuff's going to start to cure before it finishes. Now there's the blue and the yellow part there and then you have this bit in the middle the gristle that stuff there is not so good so what we're going to do is cut both sides out and then that middle part there it's already cured it's hard it's not good to anyone so we're going to get rid of that just throw it to one side once you've done that you can just mix the green stuff together uh, just Roll it about in your fingers. You'll have to excuse my hands there. I was spray painting uh, black marines, I think, for the black templars. Hence why we've got these tabards. So once you've got that green stuff, we're going to get the plastic bag out. Now the plastic bag's going to stop your fingerprints from showing up on the green stuff. Smudge it down a little bit and then roll the plastic bag over the top of that green stuff. Next up, what you want to do, grab yourself a rolling pin. I've got a, a large sharpie here and you're just going to roll that flat. Now it's important when doing this to keep resetting that plastic. You don't want to roll it out too much, stretch the plastic. So once you've done that, it's just a case of rinse and repeat. You'll want to try and get it to a quite a rectangular area, if that makes sense. So it's just like you're kneading dough, you're going to rinse and repeat until it's about a mill thick. It's going to look something like this, a little bit like cloth. So the next step in this is to get the Primaris Space Marine. You're going to need to get the green stuff and measure it up against the side of the Marine. Now what we're looking for is that tabard to reach from the belt area down towards the feet. If you take a finger measurement on your scalpel blade you can see you can measure it up quite nicely on there. Now, once you've got that step, it's just a case of cutting it out. It's exactly like fabric, really, to be honest with you. You're going to get a nice rectangular area. We're going to go for a couple of tabards on here in one go. So we're going to get our rectangle the right length to start off with. And then we're going to go through and cut that width in, just like a dressmaker would. So we've got our last part done here. I'm trying not to touch the green stuff as much as possible. That plastic bag is going to allow us to maneuver it and not have any nasty fingerprints on there. So once we've got that, as you can see, we've got the right length for the tabards for the material and enough on there to keep us going for a couple of marines. Once you've got enough green stuff in a rectangular shape for three or four marines we're going to measure it out now i'm looking at between the pouches there on the belt and you can get approximate read on the the tabard length that we're going to be going for i made a bit of a mistake there i touched it with my fingers and uh, got some fingerprints on there so we're going to switch over to the tweezers just looking at it it's uh, cured for about 10 minutes or so at this point so it's quite hard but it's still malleable enough for us to be able to get that in there so just a quick dip of the tweezers in the water this is going to stop the tweezers from sticking and it's going to allow me to place it in exactly the right place that I want it to Now 
And so from here on out, it's very much just a case of maneuvering the green stuff into the right position. It is very malleable, so you do have to be careful with the pliers that you don't go too far, but it's just very much a case of slow and steady maneuvering it ever so gently into the uh, places that it needs to go into. Once you've got that, you can switch over to a sculpting tool. This one, incidentally, is from Games Workshop. It's one of the ones in my collection, about 15 years old. We're going to continue to poke and prod that down into the gas, using the water to stop the sculpting tool sticking to the green stuff. You have to be very careful with this, and this is a flat, pushy bit. I wouldn't know what you'd call it if you paid me. But it's uh, very handy, a little bit. I mean, I've always said with this, you can see I made a mistake there, pressing in with the wrong end. But like I said, whatever tool is right for the job, this one wasn't, so I switched it out for the flat bladed part instead. It's now just a case of continuing to play, mess about, with that green stuff we're trying to get the flow of the robes and the gravity so obviously with robes especially with these guys when they're running it's uh, quite difficult to get that dynamic style that we're looking for so it is just a case of playing with the green stuff until you're happy with it it's going to be with the half a mil thick it's malleable enough for us to be able to get that kind of gravitational effect I wouldn't recommend using the tool that I'm using here though, that was uh, a bad mistake on my part. You'll see in a sec that I go back and correct it. You can see all the, the divots that are going on. Using the flat blade would have been a much better idea here. Eventually I do realise my mistake and I change over to an angled chisel from Royal Sovereign Limited. This is from their clay shaping range. Now with this it's going to allow me to get into those nooks and crannies, adjusting the green stuff without leaving too many marks on this thing. And you'll see I start to speed up at this point, being able to adjust it. We're really looking still for that, that flow of the green stuff to accentuate the movement of the model whilst at the still the same time showing gravity and gravitas with that. So the clay shaping tool there is very good for all of the smoothed edges, however Games Workshop, especially the Primaris Marines, are renowned for their straight lines and so we're just going to smooth up the edges of that rolled over tabard with the metal straight bleed there and then switch back again. So now it's just a case of accentuating the flowing lines with the model. We're going to work from the front and the back as well to ensure that it's not just flapped up against his legs. Now top tip with green stuff is sometimes less is more. So it's important to know when to stop at the end of the day, you don't want to wreck the model. And there you have it. One completed Primaris Space Marine with Tabard. So there we go. Uh, 
please let me know in the comments or by message about any topics or tutorials you want me to cover. If you have enjoyed the video, feel free to tell your friends about us or like, comment, subscribe in future episodes. We're going to be covering more hacks, hints, tips and tricks to ease your hobby woes. If you live in the UK, I'm now affiliated with Mighty Lancer Games who give a massive 20% off on most of the products in the range. So be sure to check the links below. If you have been finding the streams or videos useful at all, I'd also like to mention that the channel does have a Patreon page. If you've enjoyed or learned something, then all support is greatly appreciated and it allows me to continue to support yourselves. Channel Patreons receive various benefits such as requesting tutorial content or hourly one-to-one -one hobby sessions with myself and the more subscribers that we have the more giveaways I can do. So if any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support me keep on making these tutorials then feel free to have a look at the link down below. In any case I'd like to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreons Stephen Fu 101, Eater of Cities, Keith89, Past Seven Painting, Shadow Jag, Midget Gems, Loco Dry Dog, Not There But Trying, Mr. Tomnus, Original Sin, The Secret Paintbrush, Death Corpse Master, Jeans and a T-Shirt, and of course, the ever indomitable Mrs. Frog. Guys, thank you very much for your time. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.